What is up everyone, Osmer awesome, here back with another video, and today I'm talking about my top 5 favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Just kidding, Pokemon. Um, now, um, now, as you can probably see, I don't have a script for this video, because like usually when I do scripts, I end up stuttering you know, over my words, and, and the videos are not all crap, like the Doki Doki one or the Fortnite one, but today I'll be talking about talking about my top five favorite Pokemon. Without well, further ado, let's just get into this now. Now, for number five, I would have to say Snorlax. Why? Why Snorlax, may I ask? Because, first of all, Snorlax has really, 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 really beats, you know, beefy stats and stuff like that. He can take hits, he can give hits, stockpile, freaking, what do you call it? Stockpile, uh, facade, I think it's called, belly drum, and recycle? That says freaking destruction right there. And plus, like, and plus, in my opinion, sh Shiny Snorlax also looks pretty cool. You know, he is just a, a like deeper blue, but like, you know, like, you know, like, I still like it. There's no shame. And like, you know, my boy Snorlax, he's cute. He's freaking, you know, cuddly. He's freaking huge. And like, he's, you know, clumsy. And like, he likes falling asleep. And in my opinion, it's kind of cute. Okay, so with my number four pick, I have Arcanine. Guys, when I first saw Arcanine, I thought Arcanine was a legendary Pokemon. Also, guys, I'm sorry for butchering the name right now. But guys, like when I first saw Arcanine, I thought it was a legendary Pokemon. Why? Well, it turns out, if you didn't know that, um, um, that Arcanine used to be classified as a legendary Pokemon until you know the Pokemon Company changed it. But that totally explains its amazing stats. This thing is so freaking diverse, and like you can run it in like so many different stats, move pools, and stuff like that with like Burn Up, or like even with like Intimidate or Justified. I think it is. This Pokemon is is a, is an absolute beast. My Arcanine right now it has like like what's called a base like 300 something speed. It is absolutely crazy. You can either you know have it kind of slow, but then what's called it more like attack and special attack, or or more defense or more special defense. You can just overall just fit this thing to your liking and raise it the exact way how you want to raise it, which is absolutely. Freaking amazing in my opinion because Arcanine, I like, I, I personally like a freaking very device Pokemon, um, device, bruh, bruh. <laughs> I like Pokemon that have options a lot in my opinion, but this next pick will not uh, be the case because this Pokemon does not have a lot of options. Without further ado, my third freaking favorite Pokemon is Kartana, the freaking beast. No, 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 not freaking beast, freaking ultra beast. Kartana is so amazing. Okay, guys, first of all, first of all, there's not many sets that you can run on it besides like Leaf Blade, maybe Brick Break, maybe Smart Strike and Detect, I guess, or Cycle Cut, or whatever. But, yo, like, put, the, put a Focus Slash on this thing, and it's an absolute beast. Plus, its speed, this thing about to outspeed anything that you throw at it. Like, and guys, guess what? It has the beast boost. Of the beast boost ability, of course, which you know raises its most its most efficient set, which can be speed, speed, defense, whatever the heck you want it to be. Guys, when this thing gets beast boost attack, it is over. Like this thing is just a sweeper. Period. No matter what, it's guaranteed to survive one hit with focus slash, unless you know, unless like what's called a weather or stealth rocks is about stealth rocks is about. Other than that, Kartana is an absolute freaking monster. Now number two. Number two was almost made it to number one. Um, so uh, a little bit of backstory on Mimikyu. Mimikyu is gonna be my second pick because Mimikyu is just you know really awesome. He's cute. He's freaking adorable. He's absolutely a beast, and his sky's ability is low key broken. Okay, okay guys, it's broken. It's absolutely freaking broken. But but other than the fact that Mimikyu is kind of broken in my opinion, you could run Wood Hammer. Freaking play rough, you can run substitute for some odd reason, you can run swords dance, just so freaking shadow sneak slash shadow claw. There's so many different freaking sets that you can run run on this thing. Um like you can have it you you know have a focus slash, a berry too. Just whatever the frick you want, but guys the skies is basically a freaking guaranteed hit that you can absolutely take no matter what, no matter the stuff rocks it up or anything like that, which which means it's kinda of broken. This thing is kind of mysterious, it's cute, it's little, it's freaking beautiful, in my opinion, in its own little spooky little ghosty way, if that makes any sense. And, and, and one other thing I have to say is that, I like its, you know, let's knuckle, snuckle, shuckle, what? <laughs> let's snuggle Z move, in my opinion. It's, it's very weird, but it's very cool, in my opinion. Um, and also, poor Mimikyu just wants to be, you know, recognized like Pikachu the one. Come on, guys, like, 
guys like like how can you not love that guys like stop being so freaking you know cold hearted guys come on now and for my number one pick it was my very first starter of, of any first pokemon game i've ever freaking laid my eyes on which is pokemon white you know freaking ashwasa samurai oh my god i have he was my first starter pokemon that i just happened to choose and i'm so happy i actually you know chose him because freaking it's okay okay first of all let's start with his fucking ashwa okay it's so adorable and it's so cute and it's so freaking small and it has a little things and freaking razor claws is, it's a beast move at the beginning of the game like holy crap it's actually you know beast move along with water gun and stuff like that but honestly guys seeing my dead evolve into the samurai at the elite four which is absolutely insane you're probably wondering dude Dude, why is it barely getting involved with before? Don't freaking judge me, dude. Do not freaking don't judge me, okay, guys. I did use some, you know, I did use a little bit of other Pokemon more than others. And back then, back when I was nine years old, is actually when I first played the game. And like when I first got my Samurai and stuff like that, I had no idea what XP share was, so I don't even think I got XP share. If it makes any sense. But guys, this thing is freaking a monster. It's a water type Pokemon. This. Samurai is the whole reason why I like water type Pokemon so much. You can run different sets on it and stuff like that. It definitely does not have beast, um, <coughs> not beast, <coughs> bad stats at all whatsoever. This thing, like, this thing is an absolute monster, you know, stuff like that. You can, you can have base 200 speed, base 200 attack, whatever you want on it. But in my opinion, it's the best starter Pokemon and it's my favorite most Pokemon of all time. Just because... Just because I have so many memories with it, just freaking nostalgia, man. Nostalgia from back when I was nine years old, guys. I'm freaking 15. That was years ago. But without further ado, this is all Perry's time out. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching my top five favorite Pokemon. Without further ado, this is all Perry's time out. Wait, actually, no, I'm not out yet. Let me know, let me know if I get my videos without a script or with a script. Without further ado, this is all Perry's and I am officially out. Peace. Thanks for watching.